What up, people of the world? Welcome back to my Armello Strategy Guide. In this second episode, we are taking a look at Alicia, the Warden of the Warrens. Now, like most Rabbit Clan members, her strength, her strategy is to go after the Spirit Stones. The reason why she's so good at doing this is because, if we look at her stats, <coughs> she has the most average stats across the board, for one thing. So you never know where the spirit stones, which quest the spirit stones are going to appear on, basically. So when you're hunting the spirit stones, you want to take the quest with the spirit stone, obviously, but you don't know which one it's going to appear on. So this one gives you 30% chance, body gives you 50, wits gives you 50, and spirit gives you 30% chance of finding the spirit stone. A lot of other people prefer amber, but if we look at amber... She's quite average across the board as well. She's got 30, 50, 40, 40. But the key difference between the two is their wits. Amber only has four wits. Whereas Alicia has five. Which means she's got much a higher chance of breaking into the palace early instead of finishing the quest line and using the key quest. The quest that you... Um, the quest reward you get that unlocks the palace for you. So because her wits are higher, she can break into the palace earlier, which means once she's collected the spirit stones, she can get in before any of the other heroes have finished their quest line. On top of that, she has architects, which when you end your turn on a settlement to fortify it, it when you end your turn on a settlement, it fortifies it permanently. And on top of that, Alicia ignores fortified settlement movement penalties, which is a really powerful ability because you, if you wander around securing all the settlements, then people have to use 2 AP to go into the settlement, and a lot of the time their quest will be in that settlement, so it slows them down a huge amount. So not only does she have the advantage of being able to dive into the palace whenever she wants because she has five wits, she also slows down other people on their quest, so it gives her even more time to find the spirit stones. Now you might think 30, 50, 50 and 30% chance of winning the spirit stone is low, and I agree. So that what you do is you give her the, um, the spinel ring, which gives you a 20% bonus in all quests. Which means starting off, she actually has a 50% chance in fight, a 70% chance in body, a 70% chance in wits, and a 50% chance in spirit to get the spirit stone. On top of that, the spirit stones that appear around the map, you can see when they're going to appear. During the daytime, if you look closely, I'll show you when we actually get into the game, but if you look closely at the stone uh, circles, the, the stone circle that's got like blue uh, sparkles coming off it during the day is where the spirit stone will appear that night. <coughs> Excuse me. So a lot of the time you're waiting with you're waiting with Alyssa. You're waiting with whichever character you play in the stone circle. So you a lot of times you only move one or two and it and you lose the the, the last. AP that you have, action point that you have, but if you have sprint it recycles that action point into the next round. On top of that because of Alyssa's ability, she'll be ending her turn early on settlements as well in order to fortify them so the two synergize really well with having sprint because you're either waiting on a settlement to fortify it or you're waiting on a spirit stone circle to collect the spirit stone at night and then, because you've got Sprint, the next turn you get your action point back. So you get four action points the next turn, and you can catch up to where you were going. It's a really powerful synergy, and it is a really powerful build. Um, in terms of items, you want to do, do the same as you did with Silas. You want to give her two armor, two shield, and then maybe an attack weapon of some kind, like a bastard sword, or the iron pike, or the oak spear for defense i personally like the iron pike for the reasons i stated in the first episode i think the iron pike is one of the best items in the game 
It only costs two gold to equip, and it gives you an offense with pierce and a defense with reflect. So I think it's amazing. But yeah, this is that's what you do with Alyssa. You hunt for spirit stones. You take whatever quest the spirit stone is on. You try your luck, which is increased with the spinel. And then because you have sprint, you recycle action points every time you fortify a settlement or every time you wait on a stone circle. And that's the strategy. So we'll dive into a multiplayer episode and I will show you how it works. With any luck, we'll win again. Good, we found a game immediately. We got one super good guy and we'll take Alyssa. Oh dear, Jordana. I hate Jordana. She's a nightmare. She's really irritating, I find. Scarlet isn't a great one to go against Alyssa either because Scarlet gets followers every time she... Um... Uh, rescues a settlement from being terrorized so she her objective is she gets really powerful from capturing settlements uh, and therefore she challenges Alyssa quite a lot the, the, Yordana is a prestige character Griot is hit and miss but generally she goes for prestige and Scarlet is Potentially a prestige, potentially a fighter character. We'll have to see what, what build they are. But yeah, I'm excited to bring this to you guys. Smash the like button if you're having a good time and you find this useful. It really means the world to me. It goes a hugely long way in helping the YouTube algorithm and my channel to grow and develop. So I would greatly appreciate it if you did that or left a comment or subscribed. <clears throat> oh, it's winter. None of you shall rule. Salutations. Choose a quest, Spirit Stone. Oh, unfortunately, it's the Spirit, which means we've only got a 50% chance, but we'll do our best to get it. And it's on a place with a Bane. That sucks. See here, this... You see the blue little specks coming off it, the blue sparkles. That means this is where the spirit stone is going to appear at night. So we want to go and grab it as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, it's on the far side of the map, which means the odds of us collecting it are quite low. Chances are someone will collect it or um, the guards will destroy it. Yes, Griot, Griot's going to go grab it. So Griot might be going for a spirit stone victory as well, which would really suck. Because you want you want to be free and clear, basically. On you don't want a competition with other players. You want to be the only person going for the spirit stones. So we'll see what Griot has. Cats, I get one gold discount on first trickery card played each turn. Yep, pretty standard Griot card. Um, Griot ring, one body. Okay. Yordana is three magic at dawn if in a forest and one wits. Yeah, Yordana just hides somewhere in a forest and then curses you from a distance. She's really annoying. And Scarlet has resist and ignore m mountain movement penalty. So she's going for the Silas build that we had um, yes, in the previous episode. She goes after us though. So it's Griot, then Yordana, then me, then... Um, Scarlet. This really sucks. This uh, mist coming off the dungeon means a Bane is going to spawn tonight. So a Bane is going to spawn on here before and then move in a general direction. Hopefully it won't move towards us. But we're going to go 1, 2, fortify this settlement. <coughs> And then because we've got Sprint, we'll get the AP back next turn. Okay, so one, two. Normally, <clears throat> if you didn't have Sprint, this AP would be wasted. But because we have the Sprint Amulet, next turn, we'll have four action points instead of three. That card's completely useless for Alicia. We'll get two fight until the end of next turn. We'll play that immediately. 
The Iron Pike will equip. Removes Bounty and we can't play that yet because we just used the other spell. So that's our turn. I love this ability. It's, it's such a cool, unique ability. Being able to fortify it. And if you're really lucky, sometimes like this, sometimes on the map, you'll get a position where you've got settlements surrounded by mountains. And if you fortify the settlement and then put per perils down on, on everything, then it basically becomes an impenetrable barrier that takes forever to cross. And you just really slow down the enemies. You really slow down the other players, which gives you more chance to get the spirit stones. Okay, so the spirit stone appears. Griot's going to grab it. The Bane comes up. In which direction does he go? He goes after the guard. Brilliant. Please kill him. Excellent. He killed the Bane. Good guard. If the guard had failed and just defended it, just defended against the Bane, but left it alive, we'd have a Bane sitting on top of the dungeon because it would have come back onto the square that it started on. And therefore, we'd have a Bane sitting on top of the dungeon on the first turn. We'd have to attack the Bane at night when we've got no armor. And luckily, we've got five fight because we just used a spell. But if we hadn't have used a spell, we'd only have three fight. And we'd have to have defeat the Bane in order to get the quest. And we wouldn't stand a chance. So yeah, Griot got the stone and she's encountering... Oh, I hope this goes through. Minus two health would be really nice. Yeah, brilliant. She got hit by it. <laughs> so she's done her first quest Jordana's here in the forest but Jordana is no threat to her because Jordana is not a fight character Jordana is a prestige and spell character so yeah it looks like Griot is either going for the spirit stones or just picked it up because it was en route it's hard to tell at this point she's only got one health now though <coughs> We're going to play Tanglevine to there. So we've got more room in our hand for inventory in for items. <clears throat> Both only have one health. That's pretty good. It's a bad position for either person to be in. Reprieve can be quite useful because you don't want guards attacking you in the early game. If someone puts a bounty on your head in the early game and you get a bunch of guards coming after you, they can really mess, mess up your start and slow you down if they attack you and kill you because you've got no armor. Until you've got armor, you can't defend against the guards. So, Alyssa, what you want to do is, like always, you want to avoid combat, but you want to, with Alyssa in particular, you want to just play defensively and hide on mountains, hide in fortified settlements, and just try and avoid combat, try and avoid being attacked by anyone while you run around and collect the spirit stones. She gained a spirit stone. Ugh. Looks like everyone's going for spirit stones. While you run around and collect the spirit stones and then slip into the palace using your wits before anyone else can complete their quests. We need items. No. Okay. That'll do. Alyssa's wielding a hare's halberd and a pike. That's quite funny. Please give me gold. Thank goodness. We go for the spirit stone. Take the one o'clock position. Excellent. We got the stone. Now, I'm not sure where my next quest is going to be. There's no spirit stones on the map to collect. 
and moving in any direction is not strategically advantageous for me at this moment. So we're just going to wait here, we're going to reserve the AP, keep it for next turn, and then next turn we'll have 4 AP. Uh, we're not going to play any of these because there's no point. Actually, we'll play the longbow. No, actually I won't. Uh, I'll just end turn. Because now I've still got... Because I've got 5 wits, I've got 2 more spaces in my hand for the next uh, items. Spirit stones, you take the health. Okay, it's down there. That's good. It's out of the way of people. Everyone else has come up this way. Scarlet's here, Griot's here, Jordana's here. Or here. So I'm gonna go one... I could go one, two, three, four. But I'd have to get through this peril and the chances are it's wake the trees, which would slow me down quite significantly. Wonder what she's going to choose. Yes, this day it is so. Okay, increased peril difficulty. <laughs> oh, damn it. There's a mountain here anyway, which is blocking us. So we have to come through this woods anyway. So I'm going to go one, two. No, I'm not because the guard walked in the way. Fuck's sake. One, two, three, four. Damn it, that's really annoying. The guard's blocking me. So one, two, three, yeah, four. I have to. I've got no choice. Okay, she attacks Scarlet. Interesting. Uh, I will equip that, actually, because we've got tons of gold. and will give us an extra chance of picking up some armor. That's where the Bane is. Let's find the next Spirit Stone. Not there. Not there. Not there. I don't know where it is. Huh. That's weird. I can't see it. It should be somewhere. Well, maybe there isn't a Spirit Stone tonight. Yeah, it looks like there's no Spirit Stone this evening. Maybe it's only, you only get a spirit stone every other night. I can't remember. I haven't played in a while. You get a bane every night and then a spirit stone every other night, I think. Well, since I can't see it, we're going to come over this way, like I said, and head towards the quest. Now, the thing about combat in um, Armello is you have six sides to each dice... Three of the sides are attack, the two swords, day or night, depending on whether it's day or night, and the wild symbol, which gives you a bonus dice. Those, those three sides mean you get an attack. One side is a defense, obviously the shield is a defense, and then two sides are just miss cards, are just miss dice. The wild, uh, the rot, sorry, and whether it's day or night, the opposite to whether it's day or night is miss, which means you've got 50% chance of getting an attack when you roll the dice. And something like, I don't know, 15, 10% chance of getting defense. That's why it's infinitely more important to build your defense up using items. You have to get defense on your items rather than offensive items because you're far more likely to roll an attack when you're actually in combat then you are to roll a defense. Rolling defense is really difficult and really unlikely. I'm still looking around for the spirit stone. Is she coming after us? She went into the peril, that's mine. Yeah, I literally can't see the spirit stone. I guess there isn't one this evening. Oh, she evaded it. All right, whatever. Good for her. We should be fine. She shouldn't attack me. If anything, she'll cast a weird spell on me. 
but if she attacks, it won't do anything because she's got two fights. She's got one less fight than me. I've only got three fights. We need defense. Useless. Okay, that might be useful, and that'll do. To start with some defense. So we'll get rid of the longbow. And then we go one, two. We avoid the dungeon because we don't want to teleport or we'll get a bane. Three, four. Steal three gold and give it to the poorest hero. Okay, well, I can burn that. And then I just need to roll a sun and a moon. I don't particularly want to lose three gold. There's the moon. And there's the sun. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't want to lose three gold. So I need to go one... Scarlet, uh, Scarlet's coming this way. I could either go, I think I'll go over the swamp. One, two, three, yeah. I'll go over the swamp. If you're wondering why I'm going over the swamp and taking one damage instead of going through the settlement, it's because of the peril on the settlement. The peril could be anything. It could stop, it could end my turn. It could teleport me to the mountain. Uh, we're going to build a palisade walls here. Again, you might be wondering why I'm building palisade walls on someone else's settlement. It's because it blocks this off. If people want to get through here now, they have to go through the settlement, which costs 2 AP. Or they have to go over the mountains, which costs 2 AP. Or they have to go all the way around through the swamp. But yeah, if we go into the settlement and it's a end your turn and teleport you to the mountain or reduce your AP or some mercenaries or something or poison, even worse, uh, it could be the plague. So you get poisoned and rotted, which would be really unfortunate. So we want to avoid that. She keeps finding spirit stones. That's really annoying. We're all going for spirit stones now and she keeps finding them. We should unite our efforts and heal the king together. <laughs> uh, I've got no money and I've got fairly decent items, so I'm probably going to go for magic. Yeah, I'll see what's magic. Oh, teleport, perfect. Uh, and then items, because I've only got enough magic. So I'm going to teleport to here and then go one, two, three. The teleport will give me my quest. Go for the spirit stone. And see, because we've got the ring, we've got a much higher chance of getting it. Take the two o'clock position. Yeah, we got it. We've got a much higher chance of getting it than uh, we should. Uh, and now I'll go one, two, three. The reason why I'm doing that is because one, I'll capture the settlement, which Scarlet probably won't bother recapturing because it's behind her. And then two, I'll end up on this settlement, which is central to the board, and end up fortifying it with any luck. Oh, that's good. We can just burn cards here. Don't want that. Don't want that. And that could be quite useful, so we're going to keep hold of it. This card means nothing to me because I've got no followers. We almost passed it anyway, we just needed a rot. And now I've ended my turn on a settlement, which means I'll fortify it. And it's a central settlement. Look at this defense now. We've now got a swamp and a mountain and a palace. Oh, nice. Thank you. One gold per turn. Gain one health after each battle where the other pack member kills the opponent. Why have you done that on me? I'm not going to kill anyone. Uh, Spirit Stone. Fight. We've only got a 50% chance of getting it. Yeah, I can enter that settlement for f with only one AP because I'm Alyssa and I ignore settlement 
uh, settlement walls. Fog of war, oh dear. Dead Bane, good. I need this guy to move. Good, he did move. So, I'm going to go one, two, three up here. Because it's the quickest route. Uh, actually, let's look. Oh no, there's a spirit stone here, coming here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and end my turn there and collect the spirit stone. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go straight across the swamp. What am I thinking? I'll go onto the swamp, I'll lose one health for going through the swamp. But then I'll enter the circle of stones and regain the one health. Then I'll have one AP remaining. I'll wait there. And then because I've got sprint yet again, next turn I'll have four action points. So then I can go one, two, three, four. And then one, two. So yeah, sprint synergizes with Alyssa's abilities so well because... With this build, you're more often than not waiting on two action points with one action point remaining. And that means it's the next turn you get your action point back. So your Dino was here. Scarlet's here. So she's got four action points as well because she presumably has some kind of spell. Or maybe she used a, another spell like haste. I'm not sure. I think she moved on to here. Uh, you can't tell because everyone's got stealth. I wonder where she is. She might be coming down here. Depends if she loses her health. If she loses her health, we know she stepped onto a swamp. Which means she's here or here. Because that's the only swamp near her. Or she went up this way. She gained a spirit stone again. Jeez. I've never seen your Dana collect spirit stones so quickly. Sod's Law, the game I'm trying to exhibit the Spirit Stone build with Alyssa. Everyone's going after Spirit Stones. That's really typical. Feathered Helm. We've got pretty good armor now, so I'm going to go for Trickery. Steel Equipped Item. Target's Explode Pool is unlimited. Until end of next turn. Yeah, I'll play that to myself. One Prestige in a Battle and one Shield. I will equip that instead of the Shield. Uh, and then I will just go across here like I said I would. And then in my turn. Okay, Scarlet's up there, so I need to be careful. So we could go one, two, three, four, or we could go one, two, three, four, avoiding the damage, and then one, two, three. Eh. It depends. This dungeon could be a problem, so I think I'll avoid the dungeon. One, two, three, four, yeah, and then one, two, three.
And uh, what we want to do now is cycle through items. So I'm actually going to use that. Cat burglary we can't afford because our settlement's been captured by Scarlet. Someone just got hit by something. Presumably a peril. I think she got hit by a peril. Um, what you want to do now is cycle through the items and try and get hot rot wine. Ah, that's where your diner is. She must have teleported. Well, your diner's probably dead now. Good. Um, when your diner dies, all of her buffs that she has disappear, so she has to restart and rebuild up her buffs again. Yeah, your diamond died. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Hot rot wine. You want to get the hot rot wine because then you're guaranteed a victory. All you do is, well, not guaranteed a victory, but you step into the palace, you, you test your wits, which should be five or six, against the palace walls, and then you use hot rot wine immediately to then use the spirit stones on the king, and no one else can attack you, no one else can do anything about it, no one else can stop you. So we just go for items now. A lot of people will be tempted to go for magic because we have some magic. But it's much more imperative that you get the hot rot wine because that is a really powerful item in the hands of someone with, with spirit stones. All it means is you lose two health. You sacrifice two health and then you can you get the extra AP after stepping into the castle, which you then use to cleanse the king using the spirit stones and you win. So let's go for items. Uh I am actually gonna go up through the dungeon because I got uh maybe not. One health and... Yeah, we're going to keep that. Yeah, we'll come across the mountains. We can't play Cat Burglar on... We could play Cat Burglar on, on Griot. What does Griot have? Hmm... Nothing that great. Yordana. I'd quite like the battle armor. And Scarlet would be good to get that. So I think I'm going to play it against Scarlet. Ugh, leather armor. We got the leather, ar leather armor, not the battle armor. That's annoying. Uh, you want to save these cards for when you enter the palace. So you use the wild symbol. Every it's this, The wit's um, peril in the palace is always the same. It's always one wild, one attack, one defense, and I think one rot. I can't quite remember. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it's one rot. So we want to keep these four cards to use when we enter the palace. Which means we need to get rid of an, one of these cards. One of these defense cards we need to get rid of while searching for hot rot wine in the final card that we have in our hands. She escaped the peril. It didn't hurt her. But what is the dungeon revealed? Maybe a bane? Who knows? Choice. 
two gold to enter any settlement. It's lucky I've got two gold then, because I'm about to enter a settlement. Yeah, I'm about to enter that settlement. If I didn't have two gold, that would have stopped me. That's really lucky. Where's your Dana? She's here. And Griosh is here, like I thought. Damn it, that spirit stone's in reach of Griot. I won't be able to get to it in time. One, two, three, and then Griot just goes one, two, three, so she'll grab it. So instead of going after the spirit stone, which is a guaranteed spirit stone, which I won't be able to get, I'm going to come up over here and risk the quest. I've only got a 50% chance of getting the spirit stone in the quest because it's a fight. Um, a fight quest, which is really unfortunate. But that's just how it is. That's the luck of the dice. Sometimes you get it. Oh, she didn't actually go after the spirit stone. So actually, I'm going to make a tactical decision here. Everyone else is coming this way, right? Griot's just come this way. Your diner's over here. Scarlet's coming up over this way. Rather than going there and potentially... And only having a 50% chance of getting the spirit stone... I'm going to come around this way, grab the spirit stone from here at night, and then come into the palace here. And hopefully when I do that, all the other heroes will be around on this side of the board. Oh, I could be dead anyway if Jordana kills me using a spell. That, and then I'm, you know, I can't do anything anyway. So I go one, two, three. One, two, three, yeah. I can't use the wild sap to heal because I need my two gold to get into the settlement. So I just have to hope that Yodana doesn't have any killing spells. Magic. She's got five magic. She could easily kill me with a, with a lightning bolt or something. There you go. Spirit strike. Oh no, she went after... The... Okay, maybe not. Now Scarlet's back here, so I probably won't get the Spirit Stone anyway because Scarlet can go one, two, three and grab it before I get there. So that changes everything. We are, in fact, going to come up here and try and get the 50% Spirit Stone. Fingers crossed, guys. If we get this, we'll be miles in the lead. Spirit Stone. Spirit Stone, Spirit Stone, Spirit Stone. 50%. I will take the three o'clock position. Spirit Stone, we did it! Oh yeah! We are now a Spirit Walker. We have all four Spirit Stones we need. I can either go one, two, three into here, or one, two, into there. And we now fortify the settlement as well. So there's a nice wall. You see how we've walled off this side? And we've walled off down here. Uh, we'll go for the spirit stone again, just in case someone steals our spirit stone. Okay, she's... I could have got the spirit stone as well, but we got it anyway. Damn it, Griot's here and Scarlet's over there now. And there's a guard here, which means I won't be able to enter the palace here anyway. So what's Scarlet at the moment? Scarlet's fight. She got five fight and what are her items? An attacking heavy flail, that's not good. Yeah, you see, if I go one, two, three, and come into the palace here, Scarlet will just come and kill me. Oh, good, she got rid of Griot. Okay. So what we don't want to do is we're going to go one, two, and come here. So we're in prime position to enter the palace. And hopefully this guard will move. If he doesn't move, then I don't know what the hell we're going to do. 
Oh, Griot left the game because she died again. Lame. There's always one quitter. There's always at least one quitter. It's ridiculous. You can't play a full game of Armello without someone quitting out of bitterness or rage or whatever. So we're going to come here because we're now hidden and we're going to wait and we're going to hope that this guard moves off the tile. Yeah, she grabbed the spirit stone. Oh, she's gone for the palace. And does she have hot rot wine? That's the question. If she has hot rot wine, she might go for the king. No. Lightning strike perils across the kingdom. See, the game's delayed because... Uh, I was going to say the game's delayed because Griosh has quit. And sometimes that slows the game down, but it seems to be carrying on fine. This looks like it might be a prestige game. A prestige victory for Yordana. Because Scarlet... This guy's got four health at the moment. Scarlet has... Uh, We'll see. She just managed to defend. Question is, can Yordana do anything about her? I don't know if she can or not. Yordana's got no magic. Yeah, this guy can't hurt her. Okay, so we have to hope that Scarlet doesn't kill the king. That's all we can do. We can't fight Scarlet off. I don't have enough items to defeat her. So we're just going to enter the palace here. And hope that Scarlet... Actually, we're going to equip the feathered helm. Now we're going to equip that. And then we're going to go for hot rot wine. If we get hot rot wine, then we'll win, but it's just pure luck. With one card, the odds of getting it are basically slim to none. Rodana's just gone for pure items and a spell at the end. I don't think she can do anything about this. Chances are Scarlet will kill the king, but the king will probably kill the Scarlet in return. Why did she do that? Yeah, she had wild weed. If she'd waited and then played Immolation... Oh no, it was a flame that she played, okay. Fair enough. We just have to hope that Scarlet rolls poorly. Come on, Hot Rock Wine. No, didn't get it. Oh well, let's enter the palace. And then we burn that. We burn that. 
and we burn that to make sure we get through. And if we had hot rot wine, we'd use hot rot wine. Uh, can't afford the card. Yeah, can't do anything. Just have to hope that Scarlet doesn't kill him. It was a close game though. Look how close it is. All I needed is one more turn or hot rot wine and I'd have won. Oh, she quit the Warhammer, so she's definitely going to kill the king. Question is, does she survive? If she doesn't survive, then Jordana wins the prestige victory. Scarlet should be fine here. She should kill the king, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, Scarlet won. Good for her. Yeah, so sometimes that happens, like, I'll just give one to each of them. Um, sometimes that happens, even though this is a really quick build, sometimes a player, a character like Scarlet or Mercurio will just nip into the palace and attack the king immediately. And there's not much you can do to stop them. So we'll give it another go. That was a really quick game. I still want to showcase this build even though you've probably got the idea of it by now. Of how it works. It's pretty straight, pretty understandable. Oh, it's the same guy. Hopefully having a fourth player will balance out. Because if we had, if um, Grissa hadn't have quit, Grissa or whatever hadn't have quit, she'd be in the middle of the map and she might have gone and attacked Scarlet and would have changed things. That's what I'm saying, don't quit, because you never know when you can dart into the palace and take the victory for yourself. We go for the Spirit Stone again. Where am I? Okay, so that's where the first Spirit Stone is. So depending on where Magna goes, we might go after... Yeah, Magna's going north. Cool. Or away from the Spirit Stone. So we can come and grab that. So I'm going to do that first. So one, two, three. Avoid the dungeons. Grab the Spirit Stone. And then turn around and come back. And then go over and do your quest. Oh, it's a shame that wasn't a settlement. If that was a settlement instead of a dungeon, I'd have a nice wall of 2 AP across here. Oh, I'm last. That sucks. Because it's a race, going first puts you at a huge advantage. 
So Magna has the advantage here. Oh good, all the heroes are heading towards each other. That is really expensive. I don't want to play that. Don't want that. And I will equip the shields. None of these are particularly useful. Uh, I do want to get rid of that before... Oh, I can't. Okay. I was going to say, I want to, you want to spend your magic on the first turn because as soon as it turns night, you get your magic back. Ooh, I might be able to... Uh, oh, it moved out of range. I was going to right of wild it but if, if it had moved down here, but it didn't. I want to get rid of this card so I can pick up an extra item, basically. Oh, he got poisoned. He'll probably end his turn there. Because if he steps anywhere, he'll lose another health and he'll be within killing range. She teleports to here. And then probably goes there and there. Scarlet is up here somewhere. I think she's on this grass. Yeah. On this forest tile here. There she is. Yeah, fail it and end your turn. She almost got it, to be fair. Good. Oh, I only sent her there, but it still ends her turn, so she doesn't get the quest. Uh, we need items. Not use useless, even. Not useful. I can't use that, because she's too far. So we just turn around and head back immediately. Because we want this. So we'll go one, two, to fortify this, and then one, two, three, probably. Um, yeah, I've got a handful of junk, unfortunately. This is just really expensive junk, so I can't even burn it. That, I suppose, I could equip, the spyglass, but that's about it. The rest of it's really expensive and prevents me from using it. I might be able to use Rite of Wild on myself, actually. I'll check. I want it out of my hand. It's a useless card. Oh, cool. Thanks. Get rid of my shit hand. Ooh. Doesn't really help. Plus one to Peril Difficulty. What do we want that on? Well, that's the only Peril near me, so we'll get rid of it on that. And minus one Rot and Cures Poison. Well, I'll get rid of that as well. Now I've got an empty hand with five wits, so I get five cards. And I can make them all items, so I hopefully get some good armor. Right, let's see what we're dealing with. Magna has three fight when you have three or less health and resist. Zosha has stealth and one sword in settlements day and night and wits. Scarlet has discipline and celestite. Interesting. And what affinity is she? She's daytime, isn't she? Or is she nighttime? 
Yeah, she's day, so she gets three dice. She gets three dice extra during the day. So she's questing here. Magna is up here, I think. I believe he went one, two, three. He must have a cloak or something, which is why he's invisible in the forest, even though it's uh, daytime. Ah, the Lord Scepter. Completely useless for Zosha. Scarlet's presumably going to go here to finish her quest off. Oh, it wasn't her quest. She just wanted the settlement badly. She went after Magna for some reason as well. Oh, Magna's evading though. Magna is perhaps on her quest. Yeah, that's why. Minus two to prestige. She doesn't have any prestige and she's got one rod. Okay, my turn. It's my turn. Pike, brilliant. Meh armor. Meh armor. Useless. Come on, armor. Meh. Just a handful of junk again. Now, same as before, because we've got one AP, we save it. Build up the settlement. If you're wondering why I don't equip some of these, it's because I don't have very much gold. And I want the gold to be able to enter settlements or um, when the actual armor that I want to wear comes up. So I just have to burn these in a fight or something. They're pretty good for a fight. Got two swords and two shields for a fight. If I need it. Shit, Magnus coming this way. Magna was here gone one two because he's invisible must be questing here yeah finish the quest doge king so now where does he go into the bane fair enough Banes can be so lethal when they do that. Luckily, he's got enough defense, but when they stack up rot like that, they're just vicious. Zosha was here somewhere. 
no idea where he is now because it's night time and he gets invisibility. We're going to come up onto the mountain and then go to the dungeon. If you're wondering why I'm wasting two AP to go onto the mountain first, it's because if we summon a Bane... Yeah, if we step onto the dungeon and summon a Bane, it means we'll go back to the mountain, and when the Bane attacks us, we'll have the mountain defense. So we'll get one extra defense, which will help us a lot. Oh shit, Scarlet's coming this way. That sucks. Oh well. She's going to come straight into us now. Two defense, and hopefully we'll roll an attack for one final defense. Come on, attack. Almost. Oh, it was a defense anyway. Now she can't attack us again because she's only got one AP. So she'll probably stay on the mountain. See? Oh, you... You douche. Good armor. Spell. Another spell. I'm going to equip the battle armor. I'm going to go... What's this? No movement to or from tile until dawn. So I'm going to go here. And then here. And hopefully I won't summon a bane. Oh, I've got a spirit stone. That's really lucky because I'm looking for spirit stones. Quite happy with that. Yep, yeah, we want the spirit stone. Simple as. We've got 50% chance of getting it as well. And we got the spirit stone. Now, I could move. I'll probably move twice and die because... No, because I want to play this. We're just going to stay here so we don't die, hopefully. And then, now that it's dawn, we play Wall of Thorns immediately to the settlement that Scarlet was trying to get into. And hopefully that will slow her down. Oh, maybe not. Someone lightning struck me. And you can't play Wall of Thorns from your um, clan grounds. You can't cast spells from your... Oh, I got a treasure. The pop it, that's shit. Shit treasure, you don't want it. Ooh, but there's a spirit stone here as well. That's really lucky. I'm lucking out in this game massively. Yeah, if you could, you play that. I was going to play that there. Because she's trying to get in there because I reckon her quest is there. If I'd played that, if she hadn't have lightning struck me and I played that, it would delay her by two turns. Unfortunately, I can't play it. So we're going to go for the spirit stone here. You basically want all defense with Alicia. You literally just want three battle armors or three um, chain mail vests. You just want two armor, two armor, two armor, basically. You want it to be as armored as possible because you just need to survive. You just need to get into the castle when you're the spirit walker, once you've got four spirit stones, and survive all the attacks against you from the guards and the other heroes. If you can do that, then you're dandy, you're set. Yeah, Scarlet will step into the settlement to capture it. Yeah, and I think a quest is there. Oh, it's somewhere around here. She's just coming through. 
Yeah, exactly. I suppose if I'd put that there, she could have gone one, two, three. She just wouldn't have captured the settlement. So it doesn't really matter that much. Nope, Scarlet's dead. We're going to stay here so we get the Spirit Stone. We'll reserve our AP for next turn. And then for your cards, the same again. And now that we've got four Spirit Stones, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Break into here. We're going to need one attack, one defense, one rot. And then we'll have to roll one um, whatever the other thing is. It's a wild, I think it is. We'll just have to try and hope that we roll a wild with five wits. But do you see how quick this build can be? Do you see how quickly you can become a spirit walker? The king's only lost three health. We've only had six turns, and I'm a spirit walker already. I have four spirit stones, so I can go and cleanse the king immediately. All I need to do now is use my wits to get into the palace at the right time, at the most opportune moment. Unfortunately, it's not now because Magna's right here, and Scarlet's on the other side. And Zosha's here as well. If I go for the palace now, it'll be a massive all-out brawl and I'll lose because I don't have much fight. You have to be sneaky about it. You have to be cunning. So we're just going to go one, two and capture this. That way we're positioned to go one, two, three, four, or one, two... You enter into these sides of the palace because that's where you use wit. These ends of the palace, you use spirit against the perils. We don't want spirit because our spirit's really low. You want to use wit because our wit is higher. Damn it, someone put a fog there, so I'm going to get sick from going through it, but whatever. I'll lose a health point going through it. But I need the extra health point to be able to come here. She's had 4 AP for goodness knows how long. And she died. How did she manage that? Yeah, so we want to come here. We want to occupy a central position in the board that's well fortified for defensive purposes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. So we can't do that. If we go one, two, we can still go one, two, three, four. And then it'll be dawn, so this will go, so we can come through there, yeah. We have to go around, we have to risk this, whatever this is. Minus one health, that's all, okay. Uh, we want the rest of these cards, none of these are useful because we want to keep them for getting into the palace. We'll just roll and maybe take a minus one hit to health. Yeah, minus one, we'll take a minus one hit to health. We almost had it, we had a sun instead of a moon, it was close. Owie! Sharp shot in the face! Now we move here. If we go up on the mountain, we can go one, two, three. Or we can go one, one, two. We can't go in there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we'll go up on the mountain because it's more defensive. Dawn comes, the Wall of Thorn will disappear. And now we're in prime position to make a move on either side of the mount of the um, castle. As soon as one of these heroes moves far enough away that they can't come and attack me, I'm going straight into the castle, basically. By my name, take heed. 
Sabotage all perils in the room. In the room. Okay, so all perils are easier now. Okay, so we're not going there, thanks to this guard. Where did Magna go? Oh, he stealthed. Somehow. Shit. This stupid guard ruined everything. Where's Zosha? He's down here. Is he going for the palace? Yeah, he knows I'm going to go for the palace, so he's waiting here and he's guarding. Everyone's playing really well. I think. I assume that's why he waited here. Yeah, Magnus got nine fights. If he attacks me, I'm dead. Ooh, hopefully they'll both wipe each other out. Kill him. Kill Magna. Ah, oh, you bastard. Yeah, I was wondering if that would come up. Okay, so now I need another spirit stone. Let's have a look around the map. Not there. That's really unfortunate that they that she got that card. Not there, no, there's nowhere. Okay, so we're gonna come to here to capture this. And then go. We don't want to step here because the bane will attack us. We step near Zosha, he might spell us. This is difficult, it's getting crowded over here. And there's a bloody bane on our quest point as well, okay. So we had some really good luck getting the spirit stones, but then really bad luck at the same time in that... Um, some really bad luck in that she got the spirit stone stealing card. Like, the odds of that coming up are astronomically small. Oh, that's useful. Thank you. Yeah, because this is about to attack me, so... I will burn the poppet, because that's useless, and the warhammer. Thank you, Zosha, giving me the extra de defense. Yeah, everyone was expecting me to dart into the palace, so everyone was taking... Um, taking up defensive positions and getting ready to come and attack me. Everyone's responding to Alicia being a threat. Oh good, the Bane moved. Brilliant. So I can go there as long as I'm not dead. Depends if Zosha attacks me. Zosha's up on this mountain. Can't think of what to do with this. I want to do something with it. Huh. 
Huh, funny fight. Oh, I'll just stick it there. Whatever. Right, what's Zoshi going to do? Probably come straight through me, actually. Which means I'll then have to come all this way up again to get to my quest. Wild's warning. He played Wild's warning to himself. So now he's evading. That's very strange. Gained a spirit stone. Where did he get that from? Must have been a quest? There was no spirit stone around. I couldn't see one. Weird. I'm confused. No idea how he got that spirit stone. He didn't say. Guess because he's invisible you can't tell if he's doing quests or what. How the fuck did he get? she gain a spirit stone? How are these people just gaining spirit stones out of nowhere? Garla has completed a quest. Does that mean her quest was here? I have no idea where all these spirit stones are coming from. It's really confusing. We're going to go for items because we want hot rot wine again. Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to equip the tower shield instead of the iron pike. And then we'll, when we can afford it, we'll equip the battle armor instead of the trusty shield. And then we just have six defense straight up. Oh, it's only a 50% chance of getting the spirit stone, so I, probably, I might not get it. Mm, we'll take the 2 o'clock position. No, we didn't get it. We've been pretty lucky up until this point, though, so it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. And then we'll just wait here. Save the AP to sprint somewhere. It was really unlucky that she got that card. So that's the one card that can screw you up. And it's, it's a very rare card and it's expensive to play. And she got it right as we were approaching the castle. So that was just unfortunate. Yes, an excellent choice. Every hero gains a rot. Spirit Stone again. Okay, it's back there. There's a Spirit Stone coming, but it's on the other side of the map. I've only got one health, I believe. Two health. If I go one, two, three, four, it'll be night time. Then I can go one, two, in theory, and get my quest. And then die in peace. Who knows, Zosha might come for me, something might happen. We'll see what we'll see what's going on when it goes on. What's he going to do? Yeah, he went for the palace. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate we've had two games where you've got a bunch of characters who are going for the palace at the start. Yeah, he got in. So now the king's dead. Question is, does Zosha survive? What does Zosha have? Zosha's got no defense. So the chances are, if Zosha attacks the king, Zosha will die, and then uh, the presti prestige leader will win. That's what I reckon is going to happen. It's going to be a prestige victory. We can't do anything to alter this. There's no point attacking Zosha, because he'll just absolutely mess us up with five attack. We've got nothing but defense. We lose one dice, and then we have nothing but defense. So we just have to go after the Spirit Stones like we have been doing. What do we want? Item, I suppose? Ooh, a throwing axe. Um, yeah, let's throwing axe him. Why not? Someone might be able to finish him off. Oh, and it becomes night. Oh, well. He'll attack the king, he'll die to the king, and uh, Magna will win because Magna's the prestige leader. Just unfortunate, I'm trying to demonstrate this, and we've got two games where both instances, we've had a bit of unluck. And uh, we've had characters who dive into the palace really early. But that's just the game, that's how it is. You can't win all the time, you've got, you don't have, there's no strategy that's a guaranteed 100% success rate. But I've demonstrated well enough how this build is supposed to work. It's just up to you now to implement it and see if you have fun with it. If you enjoy using Alyssa and building fortifications and going after spirit stones and having trying to go for an early victory, like I would have done if she hadn't stolen the spirit stone, then give it a go. It's a lot of fun. And it's fairly strategic. Unlike Silas's build, which is just go from quest A to quest B to quest C to quest D to into the palace to attack the king, which is pretty standard and boring. That's the vanilla, that's our mellow route. Um, this gives you a different option, which is slightly more strategic. Again, another spirit stone. Where are all these spirit stones coming from? I've never seen a game with so many spirit stones. It's ridiculous. The game is mocking me. People talk about streamer luck. I've got streamer bad luck. Magna died. Fair enough. Zosha, mate, you've got no armor and you're attacking the king. And I think you've got rot as well. Yeah, you've got one rot. And not that good item set either. You've got a warhammer and that's it. And you've got one health. And now you've got two dice for defense. You're dead, mate. This was incredibly badly played by Mad220. Even if he kills the king, he's dead in return, so... He's just basically guaranteed the loss for himself. And he didn't even kill the king. That's hilarious. King's on one health, so he dies in the morning anyway, so yeah. It's a prestige victory. Because Zosha broke into the palace and attacked. The oh, heart of the Mad King got an extra health. Maybe not. Alright. Oh yeah, because he was a corrupted creature. Fate is unkind. No, it's not. You're you're a poor player. That was a bad move. That was a very bad move.
Oh yeah, here comes Scarless again. Owie! Yeah, I, I'm saying the reason why I'm saying it was a bad move is because there's absolute. Let's go for a spell. A teleport might save me now. Okay. Um, we just go for the quest. Nothing else we can do. The reason why I'm saying that was a bad move and it was poorly played is because there was no way he could win. It's not doing anything but killing the, reducing the king's health and handing the game over to the prestige leader. With no armor and one health, there was no way Zosha was walking away from that fight alive. Perfect. It is so. Portals appear on stone circles across the realm. Kingdom, even. So yeah, that was that was a very poor move from Zosha's part. And all it's done is shorten the game because he's taken off four health from the king, which is eight turns. Now all Magna needs to do is maintain the prestige lead. And well, actually, Scarlet could dive in. Scarlet might be able to uh, move in and kill the king. If Magna doesn't come and stop her, Scarlet will take the take the crown from the king. Again, for a second time. She's got incredibly lucky on both games, but that's how it works. That's our mellow for you. So Scarlet's going to go through the Bane and into the palace. And then it's between Magna and Scarlet. If Magna can't push Scarlet off the tile... Oh, she didn't. What the hell? Well, that's just an incredibly stupid move because the king is going to die in the morning and then the prestige leader wins. Unless you're planning on suddenly taking the prestige lead somehow, I wish I don't understand how. You could have easily gone one and then into the palace. And then at night time, attacked the king who's only got one health. Now you're dead and stuck on clan grounds. There's no way you can win. What are these people doing? I don't understand any of the strategies they're employing. Two, three. Yeah, I can't make it. I'd go and attack the king myself if I could have made it. Do, 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 do. Burn that. Burn that. And I just need to roll a sun. No sun? No sun. I lost my action point anyway. Ugh, Conjurer, Warlock doesn't do anything. 
spirit stone or one rot. I've already got one rot, so it doesn't matter if I get another rot. So I'll take this position. Yeah, I got the spirit stone. But yeah, there's basically no way to win this now because it's night time and now the king, now then it's going to turn daytime, the king is going to die and the prestige leader wins. Which is Magna. But that was a very poor game from everyone. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, I don't know why Scarlet didn't go straight for the palace th at that moment. I don't know why Zosha went into the palace and attacked the king when he had no armor and only one health. I have no idea what they were doing. No, seems like no strategy whatsoever was involved in that moment. <laughs> Another spirit stone, as if we don't have we don't have enough. This is the only game I've seen three spirit walkers in. This is mental, and even Zosha has a spirit stone as well. Absolutely crazy, guys! That is streamer bad luck. If Zosha has hot rot wine, he can step into the Arno oh because he'll die from it. Not Zosha, Magna. Nobody healed. Okay. So yeah, if he has hot rot wine now, he can step in, use the hot rot wine, and then cleanse the king. Either way, he's won. Because in the morning, the king dies, and the prestige leader wins. Or he just clicks on the king next turn and no one can do anything about it. So yeah, close game. I almost had it when I was up here and then Scarlet happened to get the anti-build for me. The anti-build is the trickery card that she played which stole my spirit stone. That is the hard counter to this build because it steals the stone from you, obviously. And then on top of that, Zosha did something really stupid and slow and uh, increased the speed of the game. Oh, you want a piece, do you? You want a piece of me now that we're at the end? Ah, even combat. And I survived somehow. Ha <laughs> ha. You shall not kill me. Let's go for spell. Feral. Uh, yeah, another spell. Leech. Uh, let's leech one off Scarlet. Why can't I play that? Oh, because she's protected by spirit stones. If we go for Magna, I doubt we'll be able to kill her. But we can try. We might get enough prestige to steal the victory. Can't use that on her either. Oh, I can. Oh, I should have done that after. That gives her loads of fight, doesn't it? I forgot. I should have attacked her first and then used it on her. Whatever. I'm not that bothered about winning this... this, this uh, this map. It was it was a clusterfuck, this map, this fight. So who cares? Oh, whatever. Let's just end it. There's no way to win. Now the king dies because Zosha attacked him and the prestige leader wins. That was a really, stu really stupid game, guys. Oh, yeah. Magna's a girl. I forgot. For some reason, Magna's a girl. 
Yeah, I'm not giving anyone... Uh, I'm not giving anyone a commendation because... I would have given uh, her a commendation if she'd taken the initiative and attacked when she had the chance. I'm not giving Zosha the commendation because... He just played incredibly badly. I'll give him one, so we've all got one each. And Magna didn't really do anything, just kind of wandered around. So, yeah, a bit of a bad game one to end with, but you get how the build's supposed to work. It's up to you if you choose to implement it or not. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial for Alicia. I certainly enjoyed the games myself. And I produce content every single day, so I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out till next time.